Hello everyone, I'm Tim Riley with Angel Tarot Readings by Tim. Thank you for joining me for this week, our Angel Oracle Card Forecast for the week of Monday, November 20th through Sunday, November 26th. And this week I'm going to be working with Tony Carmine Salernos, his, the, uh, it's Ask an Angel. And this is a beautiful deck. Uh, I'm going to pull it out now and start shuffling. Just gorgeous cards. So I hope you are having an awesome week and a better, even um, a more wonderful November. And also, um, for those who are celebrating Thanksgiving this week, have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Be thankful for everything that you have in your life. And um, I know that this is going to be a really good week because they're showing me that this is about higher consciousness so this is really tapping in and listening to your higher self it's one of the things that they were telling me that this is going to be really looking at some of those things that we may still those old belief systems that are outdated that we need to let go of so there's something about old belief systems this could be for some of you this is body changes okay because they're showing me body changes uh, beauty and how we're seeing ourselves and you know as we get older sometimes we find it a little bit difficult to accept what we see in the mirror and spirit is just saying you know that's that's just a belief it's not necessarily the truth so we are our own worst enemies so it is about whoop, that one that one flew let's see yeah this is emotions so yeah this is this can be an emotional week here because this is um you know, right there, they're talking about emotions, but this is this is saying that you know, still letting go of some of those outdated belief systems about how we feel. Also, to lighten up this week, so we may uh, want to again that creative energy that I felt last week that we can incorporate some of this creative energy by listening to some beautiful high vibrational music. Um, and that was one of the things is that, you know, as it goes back to the beauty aspect of, you know, whether it's body changes or, you know, gaining weight or whatever it may be, um, you know, spirits just saying, hey, let that go. Just, you know, don't get so hung up on that piece of that, because that's what you're going to continue to keep getting. So if things aren't moving as fast as you'd like for them to, or why is why are things taking so long for you, especially if it, you know, we are trying to maybe lose a couple pounds or get a different job or make an, uh, a, you know, a new location to a new home. It's, it's about the belief system is what I'm being told and that this is putting your vibrations to match those so that we want to make sure that we are setting ourselves in a high vibrational state that we deserve, that it is coming, that it is here. And we will start seeing a lot of those changes come quite, quite naturally for us when we do so. Okay, so we've got healing coming up here. So I did feel like there was going to be emotional and then healing. So for some of you, especially family, we're going to be around a lot of family this week. For some of us, there could be some emotional healing, which is very nice. Very, very nice coming up for the week. But this is also about um, letting go of the fact that you feel like something may not be able to be healed. Okay, if it is a relationship or if it is about... Um, you know, I just don't think I'm ever going to be able to get this, or I don't really feel like this is ever going to occur for me. Got to watch what we're, what we're thinking and how we're saying. So we want to make sure that when we put things into a higher vibrational setting by saying things more high vibrationally and thinking them more high vibrationally, again, that's where the healing begins and that's where it starts. So they are saying, you know, that there's going to be some emotional healing. Uh, there's art that's popping up here. So again, a lot of creative energy. I'm getting a ringing over here. So I know that we've got a lot of uh, creative angels that are going to be working with us. So again, that journaling is going to be coming through, whether it's painting or drawing. So it's what I'm being told is we got to get this, this emotional healing of what's in here out. So that may be 
uh, burning letters to an individual that maybe, you know, we haven't been able to say what we wanted to say for fear that we just know that it's not going to be received well. So we just don't say it, but we're still harboring it here. So one technique that we can do is to write that individual a letter, or it could even be your own self, and to put on paper everything that you're feeling and take that out and burn it. And as it's burning, you feel that being transmuted and changed to how you would like the situation to be, okay? And sometimes we may need to keep doing that more and more, but that is a way on a creative level as that relates to writing to get what's in out, okay? And then we have divine justice, so interesting here. So it looks like there's gonna be some things that are gonna be that um, healing and as it relates to about fairness as well. So again, you've got the emotional card. This is emotions. So this may be very much an emotional week for some of you. So I'm also hearing as this relates to your higher self to listen to your emotions, listen to your guidance that you're being given. And um, as long as you come from that place and follow through with your higher self rather than your ego, you're going to go a long way with this week, okay? Again, this does have to deal with, um, you know, I do feel like there's going to be some changes for some individuals as it relates to healthy lifestyle. So this may be emotionally, you might be feeling a change to... Get your body moving, eat healthier. You know, I know as we're getting into especially Thanksgiving, that's when everybody puts the feedback on. This is about, okay, you know what? I think I may want to maybe um, eat less of this and maybe more of that. So I, I see us making some changes in that arena. And of course the healing comes through. So there's gonna be some emotional healing as um, this week comes through here. So. This is, you know, this can be a miracle healing for, for some of you, all right? And, you know, I just feel like there's just this cleanse that comes up, which is going to be beautiful. Um, art, God, what a beautiful card. Love this card. But this uh, card here, which is art, so this is doing this healing on a creative level. So like I said, you know, spirit wants you to move your body, dance, sing, because I'm, I'm hearing music and singing and dancing and drumming, whatever that may be. But that's going to get all of this, you know, get, getting you in tune and fine tuning and getting in touch on a higher vibrational level with your emotions. And of course, divine justice, you know, this for some may actually mean that, again, where, you know, as we let some things go, and really things become in balance for, for you. Um, I'm also hearing that this is about you needing to step up and speak your truth, because this is about speaking your truth as well. So what may seem kind of out of balance, or, and I'm also feeling that this may be even something that you feel like you've lost, because they're showing, because I'm hearing what it is that you feel that you have lost, that you feel may be hopeless, you're gonna find that there's justice involved with that. That's a message for one of you, okay? So those are the messages that come through. But the more that we can embrace the changes this week, because there's, for, you know, like I said, a lot of this moving from a higher vibration, and as we go through this, and accepting the changes that we're finding it hard to accept, the more that we can allow them to naturally occur and just trust everything is fine. Get your ego out of the way. We're going to have a beautiful week. So, and, and enjoy the whole creative process. For some of you, this art may be, you know, um, you know, with Thanksgiving coming up, this might even be, you know, doing, you know, a, a magnificent pumpkin pie that you've not done before or whatever, you know? So it can be baking, it can be drawing, it, be, it can be singing, but it's going to really be a wonderful week, I do feel. So thanks everyone. And, you know, like I said, I am doing the yearly angel oracle forecast for you. So if you would like a personalized one with me, do get in touch with me. Uh, I am getting booked very quickly. So the way to contact me is to just send me an email at timothyreilly444 at gmail. Let me know that you'd like one. And the way that this is done is I can either, uh, we could do phone, 
or I can even do an MP3 for you. So that's a way to, to be able to get that to you. So thank you, everyone. You have a blessed week, and I'll see you next time. Bye now.